guys, it's Paige, and today I'm going to be showing you a super bronzy and gold makeup tutorial. So I might have some excess makeup on, but that's fine. Let's just get started. And I have a random piece of hair that came out of my ponytail. <sighs> so don't judge that. I'm aware that it's there. Okay, so we're going to start off. I'm going to start off by priming my skin. You know what? First off, we're going to make sure I have no makeup on my face. So I'm just going to take a makeup wipe and rub that all over my face to make sure there's nothing on my face besides my skin. That didn't make sense, but anyway. So I'm gonna be using the Maybelline New York Baby Skin Primer. Oh, and about that much. Just put that on your cheeks, nose, under eyes, forehead, and chin. When I rub it in, it feels like I'm not rubbing anything in, but like once I'm done, I f it feels like all greasy on my hands. So, I'm not going to use my hands to rub that in because my hands feel greasy afterward. I'm gonna use this fish uh, mermaid tail brush just to blend that in. I never blend primer in with a brush, but I might as well try it out. This feels so weird to do. I just feel like I could be saving so much time by using my hand. Is that all blended in? Yep, all blended. I forgot to close this cap. So now I'm going to start off by using my Maybelline New York Superstay Better Skin Concealer in the shade Ivory 10. So I'm just gonna put that in a triangle under my eyes. I do not conceal this much on an everyday basis. I only put it a couple dots under my eyes, forehead, nose, and chin. Close that up. Now I'm gonna take my foundation brush and just blend that in. And it's a bit lighter than my skin tone just to kind of brighter up brighter up, to just to brighten up um, and kind of highlight my face. No, oh, it's not blending out. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's kind of similar to the look that I did in my mom the other day in my live stream. So if you like that look, but a little bit toned down, then this is to look for you this could be worn every day or like on a special occasion either or um now i need my what's it called powder where is it here is my maybelline fit me powder why am i talking so weird today so i'm going to be using my maybelline fit me powder that sounded better in the shade 110 and just patting that all over my face just to give some coverage and to set the concealer. So now we are going to do blush. I'm gonna be using the Smooth Minerals by Avon with this blush brush. I'm not sure what brand it's by, um, but this is kind of more orange and corally blush, which will help with the bronzed effect and it's not like bright pink, so. Yeah, put that on your cheeks. I'm talking literally so weird today. I don't know what's up with that. A little goes a very long way. It's like... See what I mean? Okay. So now we're going to move on to bronzer. And then we'll do highlight. I'm doing this in such a weird order. I usually go uh, bronzer, blush, highlight, but today I'm going blush, bronzer, highlight. So I'm taking the Bronze Goddess bronzer. It has shimmer in it, so yeah. I usually do bronzer with a blush brush, as you can see. Um, I think it works better than like the angled brushes. Angled, angled brushes are better for contour. Ugh. 
angled brushes are better for contouring and like fluffy brushes are better just to like warm up your face with some bronzer. I like smaller brushes to put my blush on with. Make sure my face is warm. Temples. And then jawline. And then, wait, we need more to make it look more bronzed. Because the whole look is based off of bronzed and gold. I was going to put that in the whole perimeter of my face up to my temples. So yeah. Dang it, that didn't have the click that I wanted to. So, so yeah. That was better. Anyway, so. Now I'm going to be using my highlighting fan brush and my physician yeah, my physician's formula butter highlighter in the shade pearl, you guys know. Taking just a bit, just a tad of that. I love highlighter. I'm putting that on my cheekbones to make me shine. This is in the lightest shade. It's not at all gold or bronze or anything, but I just love this highlighter, so I have to use it. And it's one of my only highlighters. I only have two, but two's enough. This one will always be my favorite, though. Okay, so now that the face makeup is done, we're going to move on to the eyes. As you know, I love doing my eyes. So I'm gonna take my concealer, my Maybelline uh, Superstay Better Skin Concealer, and just priming my eyelids with that. And then taking my foundation brush and blending that out. That was blotchy, but okay. Let's smooth that out. And Tell me if you guys like me uploading every day or if you would rather me upload like once a week or twice a week or if you just like the schedule. I haven't been uploading like every single day lately so I don't know what's been going on with that. But I will continue my consistent schedule if you guys want. Taking my Maybelline Fit Me powder in the shade 110 again. Putting that on my eyelids. I did it so messily. Okay. So now I'm going to be taking my Naked 2 palette by Urban Decay out and then taking my PA blending eyeshadow brush and taking the color Tease and popping that in my crease just for some light dimension and on my outer corners just to act as a transition shade. And I'm also going to take a flat brush, taking Tease again, and just... Putting that on my lash line halfway. This is gonna act as a transition shade, a transition shade for my bottom lid. Okay, now on my Sephora AD6 brush, I'm going to be taking a snake bite and put that on the outer V of my eyelid. I'll try to make the lines as least harsh as I can but they're looking pretty harsh so far so I don't know so this look is gonna be like similar to what I did on my mom in the in my last live stream so if you guys like that that is what it's pretty much gonna look like except a bit more toned down blend that out super duper well because we do not want harsh lines we want it to all have a nice gradient and and all to be blended out and I'm going to take Tease again and blend with that eyeshadow to make it blend much easier. Ugh, it's not blending as nicely as I expected it to. Hmm. So yeah. And now I'm going to take Busted and just put that on the very outer part of my eye, right there. I'm not going to use black because you guys know know what happened in my last uh live stream when i did my mom's makeup i messed up the black and it ruined the whole eyeshadow mm. 
My ring light's running low on battery, so that's why the lighting's not super well. I'll just turn it off. Okay, so that is the crease. Those are the crease eyeshadows. Now we're gonna go. Why does it say eyeshadows? Like shadows. I don't know. But anyway, now we're going to go in with chopper and put that all over your eyelid. Just to add that bronzish gold. This is like the perfect color for this look. It really is. Other eyelid. And I want it to show up super well, so take a lot of it and press it down. And don't take a fluffy brush and just sweep it. Press it on. Don't like sweep it so yeah now i'm going to take half baked and put that in the very center of my eyelid kind of in between the crease shadows and the um lid eyeshadows i cannot talk today i do not know what is wrong with me and then i'm also going to take um half baked and put that in my inner corner did I say corner? I meant to say corner. Inner corner. And then just blending that out with my finger a little bit. And now I'm taking um, Booty Call and putting that on my brow bone. Oh, I got it in my eye. Uh, I got it in my eyebrow. I really cannot talk today. So, now I'm going to take my Fluffy blending brush again. I held that so awkwardly. I could have just held it like this and not like that. So I'm just gonna blend all those colors together. Um, and now I'm going to go under my eye again, taking the same brush. This time I'm going to be taking Suspect and just rimming that under my eye. About halfway. So yeah, that's pretty much it for the eyeshadow. And now, of course, we're just going to apply some mascara. Where's my mascara now? Yes. I cannot find it. Oh, I found it. Sorry about that. Open it up. Yes, this is Dollar Store Mascara. I am ashamed. It works pretty well. Take off that little ball at the end. I'm going to put about two to three or two coats and making sure to coat all of my eyelashes. But a little bit more on the outer part of my eyelashes because I want that. Oh no! <laughs> Why did I get that on my eyebrow? I need a makeup wipe. I hate when that happens. Okay, that's good enough. So that's good for my eyelashes on that side. And the same thing on this side. Hey, for a dollar store mascara, this is really good. Well, not just for a dollar store mascara, for any mascara. And there's a little dip. I would recommend it. This is the Ariposa Ultimate Length. Waterproof mascara. The thing is, it claims to be waterproof, but it really isn't. Um, why are my eyelashes like shorter on this side? Look shorter on that side. Is it just me, or my eyelashes shorter on this side? So yeah, that's it for the eye makeup. Now, I'm just going to take my Hard Candy Metallic Lip Gloss and put that on my lips. Just a bit on the bottom. Tap it to the top. Now I'm going to take an eyeshadow brush that I use for my lips. And just tap it in. And rub it in. Now I'm going to take the same blush. I'm putting blush on my lips. 
to make a bit more mat. I can't get it open. I can't get it open. You know what? Forget about it. But I am going to take this hard candy color. It has a bit of pink in it. I don't want it to be just like brown. I'm going to put that on the bottom. Again, tapping it. And then tapping those two colors together. So yeah, that is it for this look. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Um, you can add a bit of lip gloss to your lips if you want to make them more shiny. But yeah, that's it. So see you guys next time.